um, kind of going a different way with the handyman corner this time. I thought I would take a normal problem and demonstrate how the true handyman uses ingenuity and persistence to overcome any obstacles. You know, the same approach would bring success in your personal or professional lives too, but I, I find that stuff pretty boring. So what we have here is a flat tire with some pretty rusty lugs on there. Okay, now, I started with brute force there, because that's always the shortest way home. But when brute force fails, what you have to do is go with more brute force. <laughs> but this time, we're going to add a little science in there. The law of the lever, which is not, if you don't love her, leave her. I'm talking about the extra torque you get whenever you extend the handle of your tool. A lot of guys would quit at this point, but then they're not me. And we all feel pretty good about that. We're gonna give up on brute force. We're gonna switch over to technology. This here is an impact wrench. It uses compressed air to do the work for you. see that back there. You know, a handyman losing his temper is the reason we have hospitals. But look at how I haven't let this thing beat me. See, I took the socket off the impact wrench, stuck it onto the wheel, onto the wheel nut there, and then I welded this end of the pipe onto the socket. And now to give me the extra power to loosen this baby off, I attached the other end of this pipe to the drive shaft of this car. <laughs> now, she's only 200 horse, but I figure in reverse, she'll have enough power to fire those nuts off no problem. And then when it comes time to tighten them back on, well, I can put it in drive, and I got three speeds to choose from. <laughs> the important life lesson here is you don't ever give up, you don't ever give in, and most importantly, you don't ever read the owner's manual. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs> your left hand thread. Uh, hey everybody, um, I've been doing this tour, I did it last year called I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe, and it's almost over. I'm gonna do maybe seven or eight more dates. They're all gonna be in America, some on the East Coast, some Midwest and so on. They're not all together arranged yet, but some of them are. Like I've got four of them are on sale now. I think one's in uh, Shipshawana, Indiana, one's in Des Moines, Iowa, one's in Frederick, Maryland, and the other one's in Virgins, Vermont. And like I say, there'll be three or four more coming. Go to redgreen.com and check the details. This will be the end of this tour. If you haven't seen it, um, it's it's pretty good. I've I've been to almost all the shows and they're and they're and they're pretty good. So hopefully I'll see you down the road. Take it easy.